Sometimes, it's wild to think that long before there was a new Call of Duty game every year, Activision's big annual franchise was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It's a series in which you only have to worry about tying off each ludicrously long combo before you bail and lose hundreds of thousands of points. With the sounds of Goldfinger and Rage Against the Machine burn into your head, you scour each dense park in search of Skate and that mysterious secret tape. <laughs> And as soon as you finally find them, it's time to restart the two minute timer and jump back in for one last go, which you already told yourself was three sessions prior. The stimulating trick system keeps you clawing for larger numbers while the cleverly crafted levels lead you to new gaps, lines, and secrets. It's a special series that is infinitely playable and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 captures that nearly perfectly. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 revamps the levels and skaters of the first two games, though it borrows many aspects from later titles as well. While the trick system's foundation stuck through the entire series' history, various trick types were added with each new release. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 features many of the best ones, including reverts and spine transfers, and thankfully it doesn't stray further than Underground's wall plants and grind and manual transitions. This makes 1 and 2's trick system feel complete as it focuses on the best aspects of the series. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 plays fantastically too. While you still control it the exact same way you would the originals, it feels a lot less stiff. Tricks are as exciting to pull off as they've ever been, but the speed of the game moves faster, and the skater's animations are a lot more fluid. Transitioning from grab tricks and spins into a string of manuals and then finishing with a set of grind transitions feels incredible. It evokes the series' early days while also remaining engaging and exciting when you're checking off goals in 2020. Levels have received makeovers and each one looks absolutely stunning. Whether you're skating on Venice Beach or bombing it through the dilapidated mall, it's quite shocking to see these classic stages with much more detail, and with much less fog than on the original PlayStation. The sunset on Venice Beach hits with vibrant oranges and reds that give a whole new mood to the Oceanside level, while the mall is overgrown with plants and plywood barricaded stores. It almost looks post-apocalyptic. I never saw the mall as abandoned or even run down, but this new take, along with many other new looks, makes it feel like you're experiencing a brand new level even if the layout is the same. However, loading into some of the parks can take quite a bit of time. Restarting your run, something you'll likely do a lot of, can also take up to 5 seconds in some instances. The original games were quite snappy and you were able to restart your run quickly if you weren't happy with how your session was going. 5 seconds isn't a big deal and didn't impede my enjoyment too much, but when the rest of the game nails the Tony Hawk Pro Skater experience, it's hard not to notice the smallest of divergences. Many of the original game's goals are present, with a few added to beef up the checklists. Once you complete a goal, however, it's completed for every skater. In the original games, each skater had their own career to play through, giving you the option to complete all of the goals with every playable skater. I can still go and collect stat points for every character, but it can feel oddly empty without these objectives. That said, you're not left without stuff to do once you've finished your first playthrough. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 introduces a whole slate of challenges that have you completing specific feats. These include performing different combos and various other tasks. Tony Hawk Pro Skater's core mechanics are engaging enough to be the sole reason you play, but these challenges give you compelling new goals to chase as you try to best your top scores. The soundtrack also boasts music fit for a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game. Many of the original tracks return for 1 and 2, but a lot of new music is also included. These all fit in with the classic tracks, and if it wasn't for their respective release dates, it's easy to imagine them on the original soundtrack. It's an eclectic mix of hip-hop and punk, and reminds me of why Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is remembered for its music as much as its mechanics.
Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2's Create a Park mode lets you do exactly as it says, and it's a pretty extensive and easy to use tool for creating your own levels. Sharing levels with other players is also possible, and there are already a number of custom parks that show off both quality and silliness. It's a far more enjoyable mode than it ever was in its early days, and I'm really excited to see what the community creates. As for its multiplayer, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 offers both local and online versus modes. A lot of the game types take after the original game's multiplayer too. Horse also returns, and while it's mostly a great time, some infrequent frame dropping can occur. It's a bit surprising since you take turns trying to outdo your friend's score, and it doesn't feel particularly demanding. Even more surprising is the fact that the split screen modes don't come with these same performance issues. The online multiplayer, on the other hand, runs very well as it rotates through various modes in a lot. It's an exciting way to hang out with friends, skate, and compete for the highest score. Because it nails so much about that original Tony Hawk experience, it's really hard to be mad at Pro Skater 1 and 2 for any of its downsides. The load times aren't enough to keep you away from the plethora of satisfying combos, and the lack of level goals for every skater isn't enough to keep you from jumping back in with a new character. Playing through the newly remade levels is immensely enjoyable, and that on its own is enough to call Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 a success. However, smart additions and the engaging challenge system make it an experience that's more than just a brief skate through Tony Hawk's past.